Welcome to this tutorial of the Affordable Buzzer's free Easy Quiz software. Our quiz software is easy to use, yet fully engages both your participants and your audience, and it makes your quiz host the center of attention. Easy Quiz is intended for verbally administered quizzes, so no advanced programming or preparation is required. You can have a quiz anytime an occasion arises just by keeping a book of trivia questions handy. In part one of this series, we'll demonstrate how a basic Easy Quiz is played. When you first start Easy Quiz, you'll see this simple menu. Let's start by entering the names of our players. Here we see places to enter up to 12 names. You can use Easy Quiz with as few as two buzzers all the way up to a maximum of 12 buzzers. Just click on each name field and type the name of your players or teams. If your quiz name will use fewer than 12 buzzers, just leave the unused fields blank. The blank in the player name will disable the corresponding buzzer number. For this tutorial, we'll enter all 12 player names. When that's done, just return to the menu. That was easy, but we'd better make sure all the buzzers are properly connected and working before we begin our quiz. Let's try them out. Now just press each buzzer button. If you're giving Easy Quiz a try without an affordable buzzer system connected to your computer, just press the number keys on your keyboard. They will work exactly the same as when you have our buzzers connected. The player name assigned to that buzzer will display in its assigned position. You'll also hear the sound assigned to each buzzer whenever it's pressed. We pre-configure Easy Quiz with a different sound for each player, but all these sounds can be easily customized using the setup screen which we'll cover in part two of this tutorial. Now that all your players are confident that their buzzers are ready to go, let's return to the menu and get our quiz started. Names have been entered for our players or teams. Buzzers are all working. Let's begin our quiz by clicking Begin Quiz on the menu. This screen says it all. Players should get ready for the question, but they must wait for the buzzer's on signal before pressing their buzzer to answer the question. This is the time for your quiz host to read the quiz question for the participants. Something like, in Earth's solar system, what is the fourth planet from the sun? At this point, the quiz host presses the spacebar on the quiz computer or any button on the optional wireless host remote to activate the buzzers. Now your players can race to press their buzzers. The first player to buzz in will see their name or their team name displayed on screen and the sound assigned to their buzzer will play through the computer speakers. To let your audience in on all the fun, be sure to project your computer screen and connect your computer sound to an external speaker system. A right answer to this question will earn 100 points as shown by this yellow number here. This value is adjustable for each quiz as we'll cover in part two of this tutorial. So let's see who is first to buzz in for this question. David was first to buzz in, so he gets a chance at answering the question. Saturn is David's answer. Now the quiz host must press one of two keys on the quiz computer keyboard or the optional wireless remote. R for a right answer or the green button on the host remote, or W for a wrong answer or the red button on the host remote. The quiz host presses the wrong answer key. Oh no, it's not Saturn. David is going to lose some points for that wrong answer as indicated by the red number at the top of the screen. Notice that the answer value has now been reduced by a factor of 50%. This reduction factor can be adjusted for each quiz as we'll see later. Now the remaining players can race for their chance to answer this same question. Sophie was first to buzz in, so her name appears and we hear the sound assigned to her buzzer. Mars is her answer. The quiz host presses the right answer key. Hooray! Nicely done! Sophie will have some points added to her score as shown by the green number at the top of the screen. The quiz host presses the space bar to move on to the next question. The scores screen is displayed automatically at the end of each question, or this feature can be turned off using the setup screen covered in part two of this tutorial. We can see here that David lost 30 points for his wrong answer, while Sophie was awarded 50 points for her correct answer. Pressing the space bar moves on to the get ready screen, and we're ready for the next question. Now let's see how the quiz dynamics change by activating the buzzers before reading the question. This means the players can buzz in any time, even while the question is still being read by the quiz host. Your quiz rules will determine whether to interrupt or complete reading of the question. Here we go, next question. Several states in the U.S. have the word new in their name. How many? Robert, what's your answer? Five states contain the word new. 
<laughs> no, I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The question again? Several states in the U.S. have the word new in their name. How many are west of the Mississippi River? Sarah, what's your answer? One. Correct. Only New Mexico is west of the Mississippi. 50 points for Sarah. You can see that giving the quiz host control of when the buzzers are activated provides added flexibility for each question. That completes our tour of the basic quiz game, but be sure to watch parts 2 and 3 of this tutorial for demonstrations on the advanced features and team play options. To see our complete line of Quiz Game Buzzers, please visit our website at quizgamebuzzers.com. Thanks for watching.